plasma is everywhere we look. You can see plasma in the house, in your cooktop. That's why these fluorescent lights light up, because of the plasma inside these fluorescent tubes, producing UV light that excites the phosphor on the inside of the tubes. You can see it in these high-tech plasma lighters, as I have here. And of course, you can find it in a plasma globe. So today I'm going to show you how to make an extremely hot, large plasma with a simple circuit. Let's begin. Here's the schematic, and I'm going to have a link to the site where you can get this schematic a bit later. In this modified Mazzilli driver or ZVS driver, you want to replace the cap bank shown here with a 0.99 microfarad cap bank instead. So here's the modified ZVS driver with the 0.99 microfarad cap bank. As shown here, the yellow caps are 275, that's 275 volts MKP. Here's a similar but slightly less versatile driver that you can buy from eBay. This is a ZVS driver. Within this one inch diameter PVC pipe is a eight inch long, half an inch thick ferrite rod that is covered over in electrical tape and then wound to its entire length with 30 gauge magnet wire. This functions as the secondary coil and the primary coil is on the outside. The primary is two inch diameter, eight turns of 10 gauge copper wire. As you can see, you get a really hot plasma flame. This is near to 4,000 degrees centigrade and will actually melt carbon. The very high voltage between the two carbon rods pulls electrons off of air molecules and creates positive ions. This mixture of electrons and positive ions is conducting and allows the electric current to flow through the air, which further heats up the plasma. Here's the link to the driver circuitry. Just change the cap bank to 0.99 microfarads, as I mentioned earlier. This just illustrates the enormous amount of power that you can get from a small ferrite rod transformer as shown here. Hey YouTubers, thanks for watching and please come back for more videos. Please don't forget to subscribe.